transition for two electrons is there then how getting this plus minus one so that is again i am going to explain here in the next slide now first of all we are taking the example of delta l is equal to plus minus one for two electron system so here in this case i am just going to explain it with the example now the case is this for one electron it must be plus minus one and for the second electron it must be zero plus minus two if we add these two right what you will get you will get plus minus one if you consider this plus minus one and this two then you will get odd plus three or one right so it must be odd number here you can see which i have written this one four so by an odd number of unit it must be changed so these are the conditions which need to be fulfilled if we are having the jump of two electrons simultaneously right now i will explain it with example say this is an example this is a hypothetical example so 3d 4d we these two are even terms even means for d we are having l is equal to 2 and for again so this is even and for this l is equal to 0 and for this e we are having l is equal to 1 fine so this is called o term and this is called even term i hope you understand how these are odd and even now the case number one this 4d can jump to 4p and if this is the case then we are having delta l is equal to minus 1 the case number two, if we are having 3D to 4S, right, then what is the change? So the change is minus two. And if this is the case, so we are ultimately get here minus three, right? So odd number we will get. Case number two is also possible here. 3D can jump to 4P. So this delta L is equal to minus one. And this 4D can jump to 4S. And here in this case again we are having this. Ultimately the goal is to get the odd number. So for one electron you need to fulfill this condition. And for the one electron you need to fulfill this condition. Only in that case we can get odd number for the transition of two electrons. So I hope you understand this example. And this is purely a hypothetical example. Now coming to the next, how this delta L can be 0 for 2 electron. So for understanding this, we are considering the case of calcium 20 for which we are having 4s2 electronic configuration for the last 2 electrons. So if we suppose we are having, this is the ground state electronic configuration and we are having first excited state. So 4s and 4p is possible. So for this 4s and 4p we are having term symbol 3p right i am not elaborating here the total angular momentum here i am just doing it so for this we are having this term and this term is represented by this zero zero means this is normal normal excited state when an electron transit to the next higher energy state and on considering the total angular momentum, we can write down in this manner. Now coming to the next. If suppose both the electrons from this S orbital jumps to the 4P orbital, then what is the case? We will have this type of situation. Both the electrons from S2 switches to the 4P2 state. And for this P2, here we are having two equivalent electrons, you can see. Yeah. Two equivalent electrons. And for these two equivalent electrons, we are having these three terms, right, for this 4P2. In case of N, delta N is 4 to 4. So that is 0. It is done. Now what about delta S? Second condition, delta S must be 0. So if we are talking about delta S, then this can be ruled out this can be ruled out and only this is acceptable so here we are just writing 3p right and in the normal excited state we have written 0 but for this we are having here prime 
just for the differentiation right nothing else and on incorporating the total angular momentum we are having these terms right the 3p term only and now we are considering the transition so transition you can see here or you can check delta j 0 to 1 so what is that we will get delta j is equal to 1 fine the next one is this 1 to 2 so 2 minus 1 we will get delta j again 1 now 1 to 1 we will get 0 and from 1 to 0 we will get 1 again and here we are having 2 to 2 we will get 0 for j and 2 to 1 for this we are getting 1 for j and no other is possible here here you can see this 0 to 0 transition is not possible j is equal to 0 to j is equal to 0 is not possible just to conserve the angular momentum so this is not possible fine and here if we are having this l delta l is equal to 0 as we have in this case only delta l is equal to plus minus 1 even odd for the one electron jump must be there so is it there so s here from s to p is there and for the next higher state we are having from this s to p in this case fine so that condition is fulfilled and here we are getting this type of peaks in the atomic spectra as you have seen in case of alkali metals this is alkaline earth metal so here in case of alkaline earth metal we are getting this anomalous triplet right so what is this anomalous triplet and why i have darkened this so that is the intensity rule which we are going to discuss in the next video right now the next point is for delta l is equal to zero we are having delta j is equal to plus minus one and one important point is that in this case of lighter elements we do not have intercombination lines what is that intercombination lines means singlet triplet transitions are not possible in case of lighter elements so here we are having only 3p to 3p transition or 3 to 3 transitions in case of multiplicity no 1d to 3p or 1s to 3p transitions are possible in lighter elements right now coming to the next for heavier elements so in case of heavier elements the jj coupling is preferred because ls coupling is in case of heavier elements is strongly coupled whereas jj coupling in case of jj coupling these are weakly coupled so we are considering the those couplings which are weakly coupled right so for heavier elements we are preferred jj coupling and for this again delta n is any integer or zero and similarly as we discussed in the lighter cases here if two electrons jumps then for delta for one electron we must have plus minus one and for the other electron we must have zero or plus minus two so that ultimately we get delta l is equal to plus minus one or any odd number and here in this case again for delta j that is total angular momentum we are having the value zero or plus minus one for the jumping electrons and for rest of the electrons here i have done this delta j is equal to zero for rest of the electrons now this is again the same delta j is equal to zero plus minus one and j is equal to zero to j is equal to zero is not possible as i have discussed in my previous slide one more important thing is that for heavier elements delta s must be zero condition is not fulfilled and delta l is equal to 0 plus minus 1 is no longer holds because these l and s are no longer a good quantum number means they are not having their values fixed so here i am just going to show you in case of heavier element which kind of spectrum we are having so here this is 4d and this is 4p and if the transition occur this is emission from d to p then here you see that j is important so here we have written j and from 3 by 2 to 1 by 2 transition gives us 1 by 2 value for j and this 1 by 2 to 
थ्री बाय टू एंड वन बाय टू विल गिव्स मी वन बाय टू एंड जीरो रिस्पेक्टिवली एंड हेयर फ्रॉम फाइव बाय टू वी आर हैविंग द वैल्यू सिमिलरली एंड सेवन बाय टू टू फाइव बाय टू वी आर गेटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ वन फॉर दिस चेन राइट तो इन दिस मैनर यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द ट्रांजेक्शन अकर्स फॉर हैवियर एलिमेंट्स एंड वी गेट दिस काइंड ऑफ पीक्स इन द हैवियर एलिमेंट्स लाइक मर्करी एंड ऑल राइट सो दिस इज इवन एज नाउ यू मे हैव ए क्वेश्चन हाउ दिस लाइन्स इन केस ऑफ सोडियम स्पेक्ट्रम कॉन्टिन्यूस लाइन्स आर ब्रेक एंड वी आर हैविंग दिस टाइप ऑफ लाइन स्पेक्ट्रम इन केस ऑफ एब्जॉर्बन एंड एमिशन स्पेक्ट्रम सो यू कैन सी दैट लाइन्स आर ड्रॉन ओवर हेयर सो दिस इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ द एटोमिक स्पेक्ट्रा एंड द सेलेक्शन रूल्स विच आर एप्लीकेबल फॉर दिस इन केस ऑफ एटम्स फॉर लाइटर एलिमेंट्स हैवियर एलिमेंट्स एंड फॉर वन इलेक्ट्रॉन और मोर देन वन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज गिव गोइंग टू बी ट्रांसिट and here i have drawn one line bold so why i have drawn this because this is most intense line which rules are going to decide which line will be the bold line that i will discuss in the next slide right i hope you understand the concept which we have discussed here in this video if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and please like share and subscribe thank you all thanks for watching